So I'm Shera, uh, the co-founder of uh, Momentum, uh, a non-profit organization in Switzerland, advocating for equality in general, and I'm also the founder of Atelier Fash, a company in uh, sustainable fashion. So the idea is, um, is it basically a discussion between two friends, which are the other co-founder of Momentum, Douglas and uh, Hanan. Um, we discussed for a few years about uh, doing something to give back. And uh, one day, because Anan was coming back from Rwanda and was talking about um, the difficulty for kids to access uh, education in some isolated villages, we decided to do something. We have a few projects in Rwanda, including one we call the Sewing New Futures. Um, actually, it's a project uh, in a village called uh, Kinigi, uh, which is a village uh, yeah, a few hours from the capital, from Kigali, uh, where actually we are working with a local association um, called the Muisimli, and it's an association um, of uh, young uh, guides who want to give, up, give back to their villages because they have, um, they have been lucky to go to school and have a, a nice job now. Quite a number of girls, unfortunately, coming from poor family uh, who, are found out, who, have, who got pregnant uh, and then the situation got worse. Um, and so basically they were orphan, orphans because of the genocide and as they were poor, they didn't really go to school, some work for other people, they didn't know what sex is and they got pregnant and the idea um, with the local association there is to train them uh, to develop skills in sewing uh, to be able for them to be to to provide for them for themselves later so with momentum um, we are working with uh, partners like this line but also from we also raise the uh, money from individuals and the idea is to to develop this new center so this is how we started so buying sewing machine paid for trainer paid for the for for the rent paying for fabrics uh, and also for basic like soaps, etc. for them. And the idea is that after the training, they can really have a job uh, and, uh, and sew. First for the village, because they, are, they, are very, they, they don't have any sewers in the village. So really the idea is not to, to continue to give money, but really to give money that to make sure that at the, cent, at the point of time, they can really provide for themselves. Maybe for, on the first part of why education um, is, uh, is linked to uh, to sustainability or prosperity. If I even don't take the example of this young girl, but if I take my own, for example, background, uh, where I was very lucky to be able to school, to, to, to not, uh, I didn't have to pay to go to school or to go to university when I was in France. So for me, it's really education is a basic for um, development uh, as an individual, but even for the country. So if I take the example of maybe uh, developing uh, countries, uh, again, education is a basis for prosperity. If you go to school, if you learn, uh, then you can have uh, a job and then it's a win-win for everyone, for the community and for, for the country. But as well, like for me, knowledge is power. So if you go to school, you will learn a lot of things including sustainability in general, because I think it's a critical topic right now. And then in school, then you cannot ignore or to protect your planet. And uh, so Swiss Line, believing in gender equality, supports us from the beginning by giving donation. And uh, a few months uh, ago, uh, we have this uh, specific project that instead of just giving money uh, to the sewing center, in return, the girls can um, uh, sew these uh, really nice pouches in African uh, was. We are amplifying the voice of, uh, of, uh, of the girls and the local association. We are a connector, I would say, between them and uh, Swiss Line or other partners to help them. So we are not doing things directly, uh, but to see that after two years we already see an impact, um, yeah, I'm very happy because uh, we are doing what 
yeah we're not doing it for nothing <laughs> if you if people want to know more about what we are doing or if they have questions or even if you want to support they can uh, they can check our website momentumfoundation.org and we also have an instagram account uh, where we try to share stories on high cloud business